Hi, what's up guys? So this is just a quick little tutorial video on how to get Izzy's Adventure up and running on VirtualBox. Uh, so in the interest of keeping things pretty simple, what I've chosen to do is use an old virtual machine that I created for Garage a while back. Um, if you don't have that, you can find a download link in the video description. It's about one and a half gigabytes. What you're also going to need is obviously the Izzy files, so download them if you don't have them yet, and you'll need to download and install VirtualBox if you don't have that. Once you've done that, you want to go to VirtualBox and hit New. We'll just call it Windows XP. We want to change that to 32-bit. Next, 192 megabytes is probably a little overkill for what we're needing, so I'm going to put it down to 64. And I want to select Use an Existing Virtual Hard Disk File. What you want to do then is click this little button here, browse to the Garage VDI file, and hit Create. Then what you want to do is make sure that you have the Izzy image file mounted in your native uh, operating system, so not in VirtualBox. Uh, I've already got mine mounted through Daemon Tools. You can use another program if you like. What you then want to do is click Settings with Windows XP highlighted. We want to go to Shared Folders, click on Machine Folders, hit the Add button, and I'm going to add the E drive because that is where Izzy is currently mounted and I want to hit auto mount OK. Hit OK again then we can go ahead and start. It'll take a couple of minutes to boot up. Now what should happen is uh, the e-drive should be automatically mounted. There it is. From there, you just click on here, and you can get straight into the game by double-clicking Izzy. Slowly but surely. I'm going to go ahead and skip this intro movie. Play one. Start game. And from here, everything should work pretty well. Click on the world you want to go to and play the game. That's it. Alright, guys, enjoy.